Very good morning to you, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today our theme is the veil of the flesh. And the scripture reading is recorded in Hebrew 10, verses 19 and 20. Let us come near to God, is the heading. We have then, my brothers and sisters, complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, that is, through his own body. Now, beloved, you will remember in the day of Jesus and the Israelites, the temple had a veil between the holy place and the holiest of all. And in the holy place, only the priests had access to it in order to burn incense to God and to sprinkle the blood for the forgiveness for sins. But though we had access to the holiest of holy, that was only the high priest that could enter into this section of the temple. And the veil represents our sinful nature and that it was impossible to be in the presence of God ourselves because of sin. But when Jesus died on the cross, the veil tore into two pieces. And what happened that now we had access to the presence of the Most High God through Christ and His death, we now have access through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to fellowship with God, to be in the presence of the Most High God. And this is what Christ did for us. We are now in a position, beloved, we are now in a position not only to access and go into God's temple and house of prayer, but to have access to Him at any given time, at any place. Those times, we had to go to the temple. Now, we don't need the temple. We have access, if we believe in Christ, to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and dwell in His presence. So have a good day, and be grateful for, to God for what He done to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Heavenly Father, according to Your Word in Romans 8, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray to You, so that you guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupation of our daily life, we may never forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight, for your own name's sake. Amen.